Hi, Todd. Shane Igo from ESPN. Shane, how are you too. doing today, bud? Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Uh, congratulations with the Oilers this year. You guys oh. had a great run. By the Trinity Champions. Yes. Uh, it's a tough Carolina team, but uh, what do you think of their prospects next year? Well, uh, I, what was nice coming out of the lockout was that a new city got to sort of taste hockey. Sure. So, um, like I was just saying in my panel, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the teams that have won ten times. Uh -huh. So Carolina now, although they have to beat my Oiler, um, now have the bite of hockey fever on them. Sure. And, I, and you see kids wearing the jerseys now, yeah. and it's just going to help them for a couple more years where they come in fourth or fifth. So, yeah. you know... Detroit winning another one of those, you know, it's nice to that city. I, I, I sort of like it when different sports get different teams. I was excited when Miami was going against Dallas in the NBA Finals. It's going to go, a new city is going to get a new NBA title. I, yeah. I think that's terrific. Because I, I come from Phoenix, and when we won 2001 against the Yankees for the Diamondback, yeah. that whole city got baseball crazy, sure. and everybody jumped on the wagon, and, and it, it literally had them like, oh, now, you talked about jerseys, and you happened to design your 13th jersey. Can you talk about uh, you know what you, your thinking was in creating that really cool logo? I understand it's like one of the top-selling jerseys for you guys. Yeah, well, in the NHL, they, they say it's the best out of the, the, the third jersey. Here, here's what was happening. Back when I looked at some of the designs, I don't know if you remember, they were coming up with this wacky sort of angled stripes and fades sure. and it was it wasn't a hockey jersey they weren't hockey jerseys to me yeah so i was looking at a book they would gotten some designs and i go look at i'll design you one for free yeah but it's going to look like a hockey jersey i have a paper if you want to and, sketch it because it is you actually have uh the teardrop with the well, well let's just look at a couple ones here here's your here's your jersey here right yeah okay here's your jersey here what makes hockey jerseys hockey jerseys is they have stripes here and they have stripes here and they have stripes here. I mean, that's what they had. They don't, you know, you had the ducks, the Anaheim ducks was at an angle. You had you had the flames that was coming at an angle. You had some of these guys that were doing fades. You had the, the third one for the lightning was had these lightning bolts in it. The, the Phoenix Coyotes, where I live, had cactuses and lizards on it. Now, to me, if you're going to create a jersey, then then one of the things I want to do, I wanted to go old, so I went back in here and we gave the tie down. So now a lot of the guys, old school, I go, I'm going back to old school. I'm giving traditional piping, traditional stuff here, traditional here, and I'm going to go for the piping. Then I'm going to go, what is it that people like? You know what? They like those Dallas Cowboys, right? So do we have dark... Do we have dark colors and silver and white? Yeah. Is that the Cowboys? Is it popular? Yeah. Then we did a TV test. And it's one thing that a lot of guys don't do. We took the uniform and we put it on the ice and we got a camera. And I go, I want to see what happens when it looks like on TV. Because, as you know, colors shift. And what happens was the silver went white, so we had to make it more gray. And then the, and then the dark went black. To me, that wasn't bad. Why? Because now you're getting into Oakland Raiders and Yankees yeah, colors, two very popular. So that color scheme is tried and true. I didn't invent anything really sort of new. Now, once you come in with your traditional look of straight, straight, now it's just a matter of how do you come in with a logo that sort of looks cool. So the logo we came up with is very sharp and angular instead of round, you know, because things that go like this, this is soft. This is hard. Things that have points on them. So when we came in with it, you know, with the gears, we have a lot of angles on it. And to me, the good jersey is the one where it doesn't necessarily say that it's from a certain city. It's just a cool-looking jersey. So I want to I want to create a jersey that somebody from Brooklyn or Spain or or North Dakota that will wear it, and it doesn't say Huntsville on it, or it doesn't say Virginia on it, or something. And like even that. the number of the spokes are significant. Yeah, well, again, we started doing all that, that each one of these then started having meaning based on the history of the of, of the team and stuff like that. So by the time you do it, so I call it retro-modern. So we did all of this was retro, and we put modern on it, and it, it happened to work. That's so. great. And you also are a huge uh, collectible fan. You have some pretty famous baseballs yourself. Right. Um, you, know, uh, you know, Barry's baseball is going off for auction this week. You have a couple of Barry's balls. I'll be in that auction. Are you going to do it? Yeah, sure. That's great. And talk to us about your sports line of, of 
collectibles. I mean, you, obviously, there's a huge amount of work that goes into these guys. Here's the best thing about sports. It's, it's uh, better than uh, the movies and the toy stuff that we do, although I like doing all that product. Is that the sports is perpetual, and there's always, again, a new hot team, a new hot player. Somebody has a career year. Somebody wins the MVP that you went, oh, my gosh. And you can keep getting that new flavor in it, where with the movie, when I do movie toys, I come out and that movie plays for about two months, and I have two months, and I got to be in and out of all my sales before it's over. Sure. So we're sports is a 365-day business, and I love yeah. it. Yeah, well, it's, it's great. It's great stuff, and uh, continued success. Good luck with the Oilers. All right. Well, maybe and next year we'll cross the Good luck the with the uh, bonds auction too. Maybe all we'll right. get another ball. Thanks a lot. You